Well guys, we're down here looking for another tree and we happened to find one we walked under and it's pretty shady. So I think we're gonna go ahead and take it down while we're down here. It's not the one that we need, but I'll show it to you. You can see how this pine tree goes up and it's just kind of lodged in that tree up there just barely. It could come down at any time. So we're gonna go ahead and take it down so nobody gets hurt, but the log we're looking for is about 50 feet away from it. y'all here we go chugga 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 It's gone, y'all. If he didn't have a genius idea, I don't even know. He's kind of like Albert Einstein, you know? Well, that big old tree came out of there with not too big a problem, didn't it? It did, it done well. Listen, you remember that time I got paid for raking up all them leaves? Collecting them? Yeah. I sure was raking it in, wasn't I? Sure was. Yeah, you were. Yep. You know, that reminds me. What do you call someone who doesn't stick to their diet? I don't know. A, a deserter. <laughs> <laughs> they like desserts. <laughs> Well, Jennifer and I decided to take a little break. We've been in here doing some milling and I got this mill down to where I'm just gonna shave off a bunch of two by sixes. And the job goes quick. Mm -hmm. Hey, what did one nut say to the other nut when he was chasing him? I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of music do you, is the best to play when you're fishing? I don't know. Something catchy. <laughs> <laughs> or He's better got yet, what's blue and not very heavy? I don't know. Light blue. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, what on earth? Oh. What do you say to an award-winning cheese? Good job.
I think that we finally got all of those cut up, didn't we? We sure did. Y'all, I just had to come out here and try to get some work done today out of him, you know? That's how it happens. <laughs> I had to come yeah. drop the hammer. She leaves for a little bit and thinks that I've taken a sabbatical. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Y'all, I had a joke to tell about chemistry. But she didn't know if she would get a good reaction or not. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't you, supposed to know it. <laughs> you, you want me to tell you something else? What? She, she failed her first driving test because, and she nearly killed the instructor too because she thought it was a crash course. <laughs> <laughs> Stop him. <laughs> Mama, get him. What did one eye say to the other eye? I'm afraid you're going to tell me. Yep. Between us, Something smells. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> well, what do you call a monster with a really high IQ? I don't know. Frank Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. I'll give it to you. Give me five. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, wait. anyway, uh, Jennifer, she's going to have to run, but she'll be back because we've got to burn and oil those up before we can actually put them up. Now, remember, I've got them for both sides. We're going to go ahead and do them, stack them away so that when I get for the front, so that when I get that post in, we get that long beam built, we'll have the rafters for the front side. We worked hard today. All I'm right. proud of us. Give me a hug. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Oh, Well, y'all, I'm back again. Got to make him work. <laughs> we're actually heading down here to do something very, very exciting. No, we're just teasing. We've got a project that we've got to do that's very important uh, for the wood because it's important not only to seal up the um, outside cells on the wood, but it's also important to oil it up so that it penetrates and helps to protect the wood for a long time. Some people might not find this entertaining, but it's very, like I said, it's, it's very- It's actually relaxing. Yeah, it's very crucial to the wood. So we're gonna run down here and get started. What I'm doing is I am marking uh, my angle, and this is what I'll do to make it easier to do that. Jennifer, she's down there in beast mode, mm -hmm. brushing off all of the two by sixes so that we can get them done. Like I said, it's very relaxing. You just. I think I should do the other end of this one. say we go to the creek. You want to go to the creek?
little veggies with a side of meat. Dear Lord, we ask that you bless this food to nourish our body. Thank you for Jennifer being able to come back up here again and help me out, Lord. We're thankful for this day. It's such a beautiful day and spring is here. We thank you for that. Lord, forgive us for our sins and shortcomings. We'll give you all the glory and praise in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, y'all, no. That when I come up, it's taco time in Tennessee. So we had to take a little break from working. Okay? Yeah, we decided to come eat a little bit of lunch.
Well, Jennifer and I decided to stop and take a little bit of a break. Yep. I gotta flip all of those over before I can burn the rest of them. You know, you can only burn so long because the propane tank, it kind of freezes at the bottom the longer you use it and it gets to where it doesn't come out. So if you let it thaw just a little bit, then you're back in business. But I'm gonna ask you a question. When you're dealing with pine, you know, the sapwood, which is the rosin, okay, or the resin, do you know the difference between rosin and resin? Rosin is your hard pine sap. Resin is your liquid pine sap. So if you were to melt it down, it would become resin. resin. If, if it's in its solid state, yep, it's, it's called it's, rosin. Yes. Pine rosin. And did you also know, the higher the sap content in the wood, the easier the oil will roll on. Right. The lower the sap content in the wood, it, the harder it is to roll this oil on. Because it, it sucks it yeah, up. Yeah, it does. It, it yeah. sucks it up. So, yeah. so we've got, kind of got a mixture of both. Yeah. But we've actually, the wood is burnt really easy today. So that's, yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah, because these logs actually dried up quite a bit. Y'all, we are tired, and I'm going to have to hit the road. Yeah, she's got to go. It's getting a little bit late anyway, and I'll pick it back up tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for coming up and helping me. You're Appreciate welcome. it. I love hug. you, Dad. All right, love you, too. Bye. See you. Bye. All my more dogs. Friends, got another little project that I'm going to work on this morning using this piece of paper. I've got to make a metal bracket for the front corner post that's going to be on the sawmill side before we can actually start and put the rafters up on that side. So I'll meet you down there. Well, the wind started blowing a little bit when I was getting set up. Hopefully it'll die out because I don't want my paper moving. But this line that I scratched in the concrete after it's set up, this is the front of the building. This is the end of the building. So my six by six would set right in there. These are my anchor bolts. Since this post, we want it to be pretty beefy because it's gonna be supporting the roof uh, on this corner right here. So I've decided to make it 10 by 10. What I did was I came two inches off this line, two inches off this line. So this will be the outside of my post. We'll come over to right here. I ended up having to put this piece of wood on there because the wind kept blowing the paper away. But what I'm lining up this left hand corner over here and what I've done is you see how that lines up right there, that lines up there, and that lines up there. So what I'm going to do is take this and then go around if I can. Alright, so now if we take these off we ought to be able to slide this right down over these anchor bolts with my left hand corner over here as the reference so that when I make up my plate I know how to do it. Okay. Alright, that fit down on there pretty, pretty well. So right here, if you can see, I'll fold the paper up. Here is my line on the back side. Here is my line on this side. So when I get my piece of metal that'll be 10 by 10, I'll put this in the left hand corner, make a reference for my bolts. Because we need a, to weld on a spline that is gonna stick up. And I think I want my bolt to run um, this way. So what we're going to do is I will measure off of here uh, since it's 10 by 10 I'll measure off of here five inches and we're going to weld a plate which is going to be pretty close to those right there but it'll still work and 
it won't be nearly as big. When I put the post down here, I'll have a mortise up in there and it will slide right down on top of here. Then I'll have two holes drilled in here. We'll put a piece of all thread through there with nuts on them. That way it'll secure the post and it won't move because it'll be connected to this. Well, now that I've got that template for that metal bracket made, we get to do the fun stuff. Well, I ran out of oil. I'm going to have to get some more, but I've got a tree up here that I'm going to trim up for that corner post. So I'll meet you up here at the sawmill.
Well, it's a windy day today, but Jennifer, she's over here working on finishing this up, and I'm up here working on the corner post. So we're going to go ahead and get back at it. doing working you only got what five left six left six and then I got three so nine okay. nine you're almost done yeah on the home stretch honey I tell you that uh, tree that I'm whittling on was actually planted when I was a kid and I believe it was a pear tree Well, I think I've got this post done. I've even got the portions down here drilled out. So when we set it down on those anchor bolts and then got that plate on there, I think that it's gonna work just fine. The only thing I don't have is I, I need to hew this up so that I can burn it and oil it, and then it will look the same as the rest of them. I think this is really gonna look good. Jennifer, she already left. She got all that done. We have something going on at the church this evening, so I'm gonna have to knock off this video right here. Friends, I really do appreciate it. Next week, my son's going to be here helping me. We'll be putting all this together. So be sure and stay tuned for that. Y'all, thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.